Hello everybody, Gamer Penny here bringing you another episode of our Lord of the Rings Online Let's Play and today we're back with Baird Beam. Um, I did some things in between episodes, namely I worked on crafting. So we got our scholar through Supreme. I actually had enough materials on my own to get through Supreme. Um, someone sent us some materials to get through the Master and I, again, I really, really, really appreciate that. So we are all caught up. Westfold is going to start in Rohan, so we're pretty good. I will still collect materials if we come across them. Um, but for right now, we're caught up on Scholar. Uh, what's the other thing I did? Oh, I opened some, some boxes. So we got some decent cosmetics through it. Um, I cleaned out our inventory and put a bunch of stuff into uh, the bank. So we're, we're set. We're good. So today we're gonna take on. What are we doing? Um, some of these quests, and I think defeat orcs in Nand Hurion. Up here, and here, and here. Real weapons. All right. Well, let's just go up here and see. Yeah, these are ones we need to kill. So. So we need to kill 10 orcs here. Uh, we Maybe we should go towards the middle though instead of heading up here. Collect orc weapons. Actually, you know where I might go? Where I think is probably going to be the best place for this is uh, that middle camp. Because then we don't have to worry about running all the way back. So today we're just doing quests for... Uh, complete quest in Lothlorien. I'm pretty sure that these two will be Lothlorien. Yeah, because it's marked as Lothlorien. Okay. Ex excellent. Alright, we're gonna go to this camp because I feel like this is a good place and then if we need more, we'll go to the one further down. Who hit us? Oh, is that us hitting him? Um, I did get a new... So we got two new things that I put on from the boxes. This sword that we got and uh, this pocket was a huge upgrade. I think the pocket was uh, one of our weakest links. So we got a huge upgrade for that. So we're pretty... I mean, we're pretty good on our gear. It is level... What is it? 58 gear? So we are a little bit behind, but it's good enough gear that it's going to last us for a little bit. Um, but we are going to want to watch once we get to Mirkwood. Um, for new upgrades. Which, typical. <laughs> and it's cool. We'll, um, that's one of the things I like is getting new gear and getting it through the quest or finding it or whatnot. Although in this game it tends to be crafting, but I don't have my weaponsmith crafting up. And I probably won't get that one up unless we buy it through the store. All right, these are the weapons. This is the quest I remembered. Looks like they might respawn, so you won't have to worry about um, going to all the different camps. It's just worrying about respawn. Okay, we got our orcs done. Uh oh. This one, we need three more after this. There are some down there. Let's go see, let's go find out. Oh. 
Maybe there's some at the, e uh, at the edge of the river. Otherwise, we'll go to the next camp. Because I don't think they're... Oh, it is, it is. Okay, I can't click on the same ones. So we'll go to the next camp. Let me just make sure there's none down here. And kill this guy for the fourth time. Because he deserves it. <laughs> nope. Alright. Next camp. We'll go up here, right? Because it's going to be... Yeah. We're just looking for weapons. I know I pulled people behind us, but... Quite a few people. stuff. There's one. Oh, uh, we got one more. Yes, up here. Oh, right here. Okay. So that one's done. Get out of here. Actually, I'm gonna kill you because I don't... I don't want to be messing around. Sight, huh? Okay, on the horse. Um, so we got those two done. Where do we turn those in? Just straight down there, over there. Okay. Now I didn't have one tracked. Uh, let's turn this one off. Turn this one on. Nope. Turn this one on. Where is that? All down here. Okay. So let's go do that. Bum, 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 bum. Just wanted to make sure there was nothing behind us. We do have to do the bingo one, but where does that take us? I think that's... Actually, I don't know where that is. I think that's in the... Hub. Oh. Up here. Okay. So we can hold off on that one. I want to do stuff out here first. And again, we only really need 10... Um, to get the deed done. But I, I kind of want to do what we can out here. So we get the rep. <laughs> uh oh. It's a carry quest, it seems. So I... I don't really have a... I don't have a transmog or <laughs> an outfit for a Baird Beam. Because I feel like he would get a new one from Galadriel for sure. Alright, Rommel bows his head to you and points into the distance, away from the eaves of Lorien. He then shrugs and puts a hand on his bow. He may not speak the common tongue, but his message is clear. For the moment, his post is quiet. The orc threat is gone for the time being. Okay. Oops, I'm in the 
าดเธอ okay, I think this is the other guy we need to talk to for the book quest. Help! I'm stuck in the river. Help me! There we go. Orphan is about to speak when something distracts him suddenly. Yerk! He hisses. That means orc. And I know that from reading fan fiction. <laughs> Back in the day, that was how <laughs> I got most of my lore. Successfully defended orphan. Me panas a balo sina I don't know what that. Me govin. That's my May is my. So like, my govinin is. Thank you. My thanks. Uh, I actually think there was a quest to pick up back here, the one we abandoned for not reading it <laughs> and I wanted to pick it up to so I could read it yeah right here Will you All right. Three? wow the music is dramatic here orcs have been trying to enter the golden wood for the past several days bared beam and though they are killed by the arrows of the gladrum before they get very far still there is grievous damage done Cursed the foul feet of the orcs, their passage across the swift-flowing Nimrodal has dirtied its clean waters. The encrusted filth of their boots collects on the banks of the stream, and the song of Nimrodal is made the more sorrowful, sorrowful for it. Travel north and south along the stream and collect the filth left behind by the orcs' passage. Bring it to me and we will dispose of it, and Nimrodal will run clean once more. Ew. Okay. Sweet lied, Rondia. Very good, Bear Baird Beam. The elf arrow that kills more than one orc is a lucky arrow indeed. Welcome to Lorien. That one done. May I have a word with you? The arrows you have brought to me will have a second chance at slaying orcs, Baird Beam, but their chance will come nearer to the entrance of Moria, from which the orcs pour into Nandirian. My friend Merit Randir journeyed to Mechum Bizru, the outpost far to the northwest, very near to the entrance of Moria. He will be able to make use of these arrows if you bring them to him with all speed. Pick up a bundle of arrows uh, on the crate to my right and carry them to Mechum Bizru. You will need to follow the road to the west all the way through uh, Nadjurian. Be aware of orcs on the road and do not let the arrows get wet. You will be unable to hold on to them if you enter deep water. Oh god. Alright, this is a... Like we're delivering pies in the Shire. Did we do that on this character? I don't think we did. I don't think we ever <laughs> experienced the pie delivery quest. We'll have to go do that someday. I absolutely hate that one, <laughs> but uh, it's fun. I mean, it's fun to get it done. It's something to work towards. All right, don't enter deep water. I don't think right here is deep water. Just to be sure, we'll do a little jumpy. I gotta follow the road. We gotta go all the way. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. Yeah, in the Shire, there's two of these type of. You gotta carry this quest the pie one and the uh, post office one. <laughs> go figure. <laughs> In the Shire, those are two, two quests. Yeah. Oh, we did something like this for in Bree, right? Where we had to carry water, water from a fresh spring, to Adso's camp, and then one from because someone's dog was sick in the well, in Stockings, I think. <laughs> I forget. It's the little town right outside of Bree. <clears throat> I remember those quests. So we experienced something like this, but... And it's been a while since we had to do one of these carry quests. I'm, 
excited to get to Mirkwood, honestly. So I, I, I don't know. I keep going back and forth. Like, do we want to grind reputation with the Gladrum or move on to Mirkwood? I might maybe do some grinding off camera if that's the case. What is our reputation? I don't want to block our stuff. We're neutral. Yeah, it's going to take a little bit. I can't believe we're neutral with the Rangers of Esteldon. <laughs> That's... I don't know if I've ever had that <laughs> before. I usually quest a lot out there. Wardens is an easy one because you're just in Evendim doing that. Bree's a little bit tricky for some reason. If you don't do like all the deeds, all the quests. Council of the North, huh? Yeah, I usually get Wardens of Venumenos. I usually get Rangers of Esteldin. For some reason, I usually get Mathem Society too, and we didn't get that. Maybe because we didn't do an introductory quest to the... Um, the tokens? And I still never went back and did the introductory quest to... Elves of Rivendell tokens. Alright, you orcs. No one attack me. I'm... I am not doing this one over. Because <laughs> I have a lot of reputation stuff for the Elves of Rivendell, but I can't use them because I haven't done the quest. And really, if you want to be doing Mathem Society, Elves of Rivendell, and I. Ah, uh, maybe not, Bree. Uh, we'd go into Goblin Town and just collect. What was that? Oh, it was Mavor. <laughs> like, oh, something appeared on the screen. We'd go into Goblin Town and just. Uh, kill a bunch and collect all those tokens so yeah so it's not it's not hard it's just you know like any grind it just takes a little bit and the only reason we'd really do it now is for mounts or cosmetic reasons so all right are you the one that needs this yes no arrow will be wasted hail what brings you to lorian I can tell these arrows have already slain an orc or two. How many more of the creatures will fall to each of these, I wonder? You have done most well, Baird Beam. Your efforts will not be forgotten by the elves of Lorien. Cool. Uh, you would like this one. Thank you. All right, now we have done three. Go back down there. I should really use probably now that we're out of Moria. Although we're going to be going back into Moria with the book quest. Let's just hang on to it for a little bit longer. Okay. Uh, we'll head back down. We'll get the filth. Turn that one in. And then we'll go back to uh, where Haldir is perched. Because I think we've got several to turn in there. Where's this one? Oh, Chamber of the Crossroads. I can actually turn that one. Oh, that one off and turned out. on. We will go do the Chamber of the... I, you know what? I was back in there. I should have probably... No. I wouldn't want to do it without you guys. So, uh, But we'll head back in there and... And that one in. It said Small Fellowship, but... um, I think we'll be okay. We're bit beyond that quest in levels. Oh, we also got a point for leveling up. I noticed and I put it in. I maxed this out. So, protect of your pet. You gain a damage buff if your pet is hit by a critical attack. Which seemed uh, a pretty good skill. I'll probably max this one out. Um, I'll probably get loyalty. That you attack faster now that you're prepared for battle. I don't know. Like I don't know a good. Are there even builds? Are what? Does a build even matter for us? Because we're not going to be raiding. Like they all seem good. 
But maybe we could go into the red. Start getting some red stuff. The thing is, these cost double, I believe. So blue is all one point, but if you want to get a, like, a point in here, they cost two. That's how it used to work, I think. I don't know if it still works that way. Alright, we need to collect filth. There's a filth. Oh. <laughs> I'm just not good with jumping into the river, <laughs> apparently. Orc filth. Oh, get out of here already. Okay. Um, oh, it's actually back up this way, huh? Really? Up this way? I don't see... Any, uh, I think there's one on the left there. Nothing... What's it? Okay. One, two... I only need one more after this. This one... Ah, there's one further up. Okay. Oop. A couple further up. Oh, let's just go to the close one again. Okay, now we can go turn this in. She's got another quest for us. Is this a daily or a repeatable? It Servants of the enemy cannot pass the bounds of Lorien. Curse the foul feet of the orcs. You have done well to cleanse the banks of Nimrod, although as long as the orcs march towards the Golden Wood, that beautiful stream will be endangered by their filthy, careless footsteps. I have an idea, Baird Beam. Let us return this filth to the orcs. Will you aid the uh -oh. We will show the orcs that the elves of Lorien will not tolerate their presence here, Baird Beam. Bring the orc filth you scoured from the banks of Nimrod to one of the fires in the orc camps of Nantarion, to the northwest, and set it aflame. The reek of the burning will send a message to the orcs of Moria. No stain on these lands will be permitted from this day forth. Follow the road west and north into Nantarion and look for the orc camps along the road, Uruk Gashan, Drugamard, or Athmadul. Burn the orc filth in one of their fires and return to me when you've disposed of it. Okay, I do think these Hail, are... stranger. If you are rested, repeatable, I have yeah, a yeah, request yeah. of you. So that's how you get reputation. 700. I'm not going to do that one again. Um... Okay, let me stop by Haldir's perch first before going to burn that filth. So if we were going to grind reputation, we come here and do those. You know, on a, a semi-regular basis. So, okay, I probably won't grind before we move on then. But I do want to do uh, quests out in the in the woods itself. Oh, <laughs> I forgot <laughs> uh, because those quests are pretty darn fun, actually. All right, turn these ones in. Help. Okay. Alrighty. Um, Mavar, what are you doing? Orcs have come down from the mountains. You've done well, Baird Beam. We will not forget uh, your help to us, though they're always, though there be always more to do. Okay, how much are we getting this? Ooh. Will you oh, aid the Galathrim? You've slain many orcs, but their camps in Nantirian are still a danger to those forced to travel the road between here and Moria. The orcs have erected barricades outside their 
uh, outposts along the road. Set these barricades afire, Baird Beam, and perhaps we can convince the orcs to return to their vile warrens beneath the mountains. You will find barricades to the northwest outside the camps of Urt Gashan, Drugamard, and Athmadul, along the road that runs through Nantirian. Okay. I'll talk to you in a second. Be wary, traveler. Orcs have come down from the mountains. Yeah, we know. Uh, very good, Baird Beam. Each of these weapons will be greatly missed by the orcs and will make our task of defending Lothlorien easier. Relics. The Galadrim will need your aid. The orcs are becoming more bold, Baird Beam, and their waylayers have made travel along the road through Nantarian very dangerous for the unwary traveler. If you are a friend to the Elves of Lorien and share our concerns, you will do something about these orcs in particular. Travel northwest to Tenantarian and defeat the orc waylayers where you find them, along the road and near the outskirts of their camps in the area. The road to the Goldenwood must be made safe. Alright, we can do that. And then let's talk to you. You have my thanks. I thank you for helping my brothers, Baird Beam, and for safeguarding the eaves of Lorien. The Lady Galadriel has sent word to me concerning your petition and the fate of the dwarves. I will relay to you her message. Okay. We may have need of your help. A if you offer it willingly. A short time before you arrived, an even stranger company came to Lorien. Blindfolded, they were brought to Saren Amroth, for in no way would we endanger the safety of our land. Sad tidings they brought with them and grief. Held their pauses and then goes on. The Lady Galadriel sent a small party of elves into Moria following the tidings this company brought with them. She says if you wish to save the dwarves, you will render your aid unto those elves, for their task in Moria is very important. They have made a small camp in Gwathrendath, the shadowed refuge, among the foundations of stone. The Lady says that an, ev an evil greater by far than the orc presence lies beneath the foundations of stone and must be faced if your dwarves are to be saved. Oh no. Okay, so that takes us back to Moria. Which we knew we were going to have to go back in because that is it's actually not um, not solved yet in there. Because uh, Mazog still has is it Lori? <laughs> I forget what one of the bees. He has he has a, a one of the bee dwarves. <laughs> I forget their names. That they, they all run together in my head. <laughs> and I, oh, I swear I'm not racist against the dwarves. <laughs> just, their names are so similar. It's hard to keep up. Okay, let's go up to We've got a lot to do along the sides here. Is this a way layer? Oh, okay, yeah. Alright, this is the one. We need four of these guys. Right? There's one. I see another one. I see two more. You. And then on the other side, there was one here. A burn and a bum. Okay, and then. Um, hmm. You know what's funny is in, um, so I used to be an English major. It didn't stick, so <laughs> it's not, not impressive or anything, but, uh, in our English class when we were talking about writing books or short stories or, um, just anything in, in media, they said to avoid naming your main characters with the same letter of the alphabet and for the longest time I was like yeah I 100% agree um and I it is difficult so it's difficult for people to be like alright is it bory is it bossy is it 
you know, bear beam or whatever the case may be. Um, but I really think that, you know, Tolkien and the writers of Lord of the Rings, you know, online did it correctly by having them have similar names because it's part of their, you know, culture. So I actually really appreciate that it's done in here. It's just, it's really hard for me to keep up with the names for some reason. Uh, the alliteration and stuff really gets me in the... I've always had that problem. If people have similar names, I will always mix them up. And it sucks. I wish I was better at it or could, like, distinguish it more, but... And I, I can't forget, or I can't remember, like, exactly what it's called when... Characters have the similar names and they it's hard for readers to distinguish sometimes. But that that definitely was something like straight up in our English class. They might have even used um maybe not Lord of the Rings, but the Silmarillion as an example of it. Which would not surprise me. All right, are there no more? Oh, I was gonna say, are there no more barricades? But we can burn the filth here. Filth burned. Enjoy the stink. <laughs> uh, <laughs> stinking. All right. We really only had one barricade here. There, I think there are probably more in the other camps. All right, let's head up and... We did those two, uh, are we missing one? No, this goes back to Moria, that goes back to Moria. This one's gonna go deeper into Lothlorien. We're gonna hang on to that as well. I'm not ready to go deeper yet. Bum, ba -dum, bum, bum. Yeah, I was an English major in college to start off like I think I think I stuck with that one the longest it was like maybe a year and a half uh, that I stuck with the English major and then I switched over to criminal justice nope I lied I went English major, then I went computer programming, then I went criminal justice, then I went <laughs> uh, leadership and management. That's the one that stuck. Never graduated. I, I went to uh, university, a, if, like full tuition university, for about two and a half years, had to drop out for health reasons, you know, when you find out you have bipolar disorder. <laughs> it's not easy to remain in college and deal with that and everything. But then I started going back to community college afterwards. Um, that's when I went into computer programming first, then criminal justice. Uh, and then I worked on leadership and management but the thing was, I was getting kind of frustrated with organized education. <laughs> I know that sounds really pretentious, but it was... I've taken nine math classes, and just because of where I chose to take them, they don't transfer over. It, I had to take astronomy. What does that have to do with the job I currently have? Like, it, there, was getting, there was a lot of stuff that I was really like, this does not help me. I want the, I would rather get like a certificate or um, a very, I don't know, like go through a program rather than get a college degree. And then I, I don't know, I just knock on wood, got lucky with my, my career. Uh, I've been with my current workplace for 14 years now. And, um, you know, started at the bottom. <laughs> now we hear it. No. <laughs> started at the bottom and, uh, yeah, made our way up. 
now I, you know, supervise a very specialized team. And it's, it's very, oh, we got all the barricades. Uh, not once has me not having a degree affected me, and I've gotten more out of, like, going to conferences or going to, like, certification programs than I have actually any time in, in college. So not to say college is bad for, for certain people, um, but I, I think getting a, a degree helps you get in the door. Um, and certainly, like, I would not go to a doctor that didn't have <laughs> doctorates or anything, but I don't know. For some jobs that require college degrees, I, I'm not sure I agree with it. And the, I've even, uh, when I've been hiring people for my current positions that I, that I oversee, um, even though we post, hey, we'd like a college degree, I've, honestly, I've never even really looked at whether they've gotten the degree. I've looked whether they've gone to college, uh, but the degree had no bearing in, in whether I chose them or not. So it was just kind of, what are you interested in? What are your, what are your, you know, your history? What's your experience? And I found that experience is more, but again, the college degree probably would have been, um, it, it's, it'll probably get you in the door. Which sucks that you have to pay money for a piece of paper that says, hey, <laughs> I, I'll be dedicated. So, again, I, I lucked out because some of the positions that I have had in this company did require a college degree, but the people hiring and the bosses that I had had the same sort of viewpoint on it that I did where it was a, mm, your work performance and your, your history... Uh, kind of outweighs the need for that degree, so. I wish more people did that, because it would be, be easier to break into stuff. And, you know, what? there's certain things, like, uh, and maybe it's just the company I work for, because we're very about upward mobility and getting people the, like, focused learning that they need. So... Like, obviously, we wouldn't hire an accountant that didn't have accounting experience or degree. <laughs> so it's, I don't know, it's very, uh, it's very interesting. It's an interesting thing to think about. And the thing with going to college is I wish I would have taken maybe a year off. That might have helped me focus a little bit. Um, nothing, nothing would have kept me in the university uh, because that was purely a mental health thing but I, I do think taking a year off maybe would have helped me realize what that first but you? we'll see alright excellent bird beam you have waylaid the waylayers more admir most admirably as long as the orcs of Moria threaten the road through Nandhurian the Dimril Dale the elves of Lothlorien will not be able to rest we will strike at the orcs whenever, wherever we may and if hardy warriors such as yourself will help us we will have victory against them Tarry a moment and speak with me. This is a repeatable. Nope, don't want to do that right now. What news from abroad? Very good, Bear Beam. Setting fire to their barricades will tell even the most dull-witted orc that he is not welcome in Andherian. So close to Lorien. You have done well. Thank you. Tarry a moment and speak with me. And that is a repeatable. Okay. Level up. Oh, we got a deed. Oh, did we get our rep? Aha. Uh -huh. Paths of Karis Galadhan. Become known to the Galadrim. The Paths of Karis Galadhan. I don't have that. <laughs> um. Okay. We got that good and good. All right, perfect. So now we can get in there. Wait, did I talk, Haldir? What, what do you have? Oh. You are welcome within Lothlorien, and may visit the hill of Kirin Amroth. Uh, uh... 
You're demonst you demonstrated. You're welcome within Lothlorien, Bear Bean, for the friendship you have demonstrated and your efforts against the orcs and other dangers within Moria. Pass beneath the eaves of the forest. So this is basically... We got the rep up and that's going to take us there, but... We have to do book six first, so... We're not going to do that quite yet. Man! We got book six. We got book seven. We got book nine. <laughs> Volume 2. Wait, um... Where's the epic? Um... Oh! Okay. I was like, what's happening? The, I was looking at chapters. These are actually book seven. Okay, this is the next book. Got it, got it, got it, got it. All right. We do have to complete Mirror of Galadriel first. All right, um, where are we going? Oh, we didn't do that. Okay, so we've got this out here. Let's turn on those two so I know what we're gonna do next. Uh, I do need to go... Is there something to go see this statue? By any chance? Is this something to discover? No. <laughs> but I just wanted to go see her. Um, let me go turn in... Returning their filth. We'll unlock another... Repeatable. And then we've got two to go back into Moria, so we'll go get ready to do those in the next episode. you to Lothlorien. I know you have done what I asked, Birdbeam, for I could smell the reek from here. The orcs should know now, or should, yeah, know now that no offense against the land will go unanswered. Thank you for your aid. A shadow falls beyond Lothlorien, against which we must be prepared. Okay. Excellent. Alright, with that, I think we're gonna go ahead and end this episode here. Um, let me... What Real quick, though, you? deconstruct all of these. Yes. Got four copper settings of power. Fantastic. Oh! I'll just do all of them. Okay. Alright, cool. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and end this episode here, and when we come back, we'll be probably... Oh man, are we seriously at 9 of 10? <laughs> What'd we miss? Probably in here. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> uh, yeah, when we come back, we will um, be back in Moria. Sweet light, Melon. Um, ready to take on the rest of the book quest. We'll go see what that... Is this a Lothlorien one? Ah, okay, this one will be it. We'll go to Chamber of Crossroads as well and try to get this one done. Yep. So, uh, guys, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. Um, I want to thank you so much for all of your support on this series. If you do want to see more of the Lord of the Rings online Let's Play, make sure to leave a like or subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time. All right, bye-bye, everyone.